Hey, hey, going. I'm Captain Condiment. I'm going to be taking you through the Konami produced game Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links. What is Duel Links? How do I play? What's involved? That's what I'm going to answer for you today. All right, let's strap ourselves in. So, as a new player, you'll be taken through the tutorial when you first enter the game. The game will be in a bare bones state, not like it normally will be once you've finished the tutorial. Uh, once you have finished the tutorial and you've progressed to stage five, you will be then logging in and you can receive returning user bonus tickets. As you see, we've just got our ultra rare ticket. Next, we've got some in-game currency, the gems, uh, super rare tickets, so on and so forth. So let's open up the game. Celebrating the 25th anniversary. There are some more tickets you can receive. As you can see, we just got a normal ultra rare. The next ticket actually has a blue eyes white dragon head on it. This is what's called a dream ticket. Dream tickets are super, super rare and you only get a couple per year. I will take you through what they're about and how to use them further on in this series so for now let's progress a little further we're celebrating the arc 5 world release which is a new world in Duel Links based on the arc 5 anime as you can see there's also another dream ticket to receive this doesn't happen often fourth anniversary is also happening which has got some dream tickets and there is a pick a gift campaign running at the moment. So as you can see already, logging in for the first time, if there's a few events running, uh, you can receive quite a lot of items to help get you going in the game. So we've got some gold coins, which is a, like a currency to use to purchase cards in the game. We have some skill chips to, versus, to purchase skills. And we have some keys, which... We're going to choose today since we don't have much to start us off with, so let's choose that. As you can see, you can choose a different one every day. This screen here is a screen you'll get booted up either on your phone or on your Steam app. So you can see there's notifications about some sales going on and certain products they have in the game. There's polls that you can participate and you can win prizes doing so maintenance notices, issue notices, so on so forth. As you can see, it's advertising us the new box. This will happen every time a new main box is released in a mini box. Each box you typically receive 500 free gems from Konami. This is also letting us know about the structure deck that's been released. I'll go in further detail about what all this stuff is soon. But as you can see, it shows you what type of things you can get in the structure deck. Um, and you can go straight to the shop from this menu here. The dual column is a column that helps you understand mechanics of the game. And we've finally logged in. As what? you can see, I'm in stage four. I think I said earlier, stage five is the stage where we unlock past the tutorial. I'll correct myself now, it's stage four. So these exclamation marks, please click them. You'll get free goodies. And I'm going to now tell you about the world itself. So you would have gotten a basic understanding through the tutorial. But now I will go into a bit of detail about each section here. All right, so we are in the PVP arena area. As you can see down the bottom, this will look very similar on your mobile screen. And you can see we have a NPC that we can duel. And we have the PVP arena, which we can click and it will take us through a bit of detail about what PvP modes, the time limit that's set during the match, and how you can verse friends, have casual duels, create a duel room if 
for you and your communities and save your favorite dual replays to watch back later on. Now, as we go through each section, there will be interaction zones. Specifically in the PvP arena, it's these lamps. You can get yourself some free gems in the game. So we go across, we've got the shop. Sometimes there's NPCs here that you can take on and battle. But the interaction zone is right above the roof. As you can see, we netted ourselves one gem. You might laugh, but these gems add up over time and are very crucial into you purchasing packs that you want to buy to build your favorite deck or your meta deck that you might be building. Also worth touching on, down in the bottom left, after you unlock him, will be the card trader. The card trader is a very useful NPC. He will have a catalog of cards that you can trade for uh, currency that you build up just from taking on NPCs and interacting with the game. And also have a standard amount of cards to select from which never change. The main part of his roster is a rotating roster of cards. They're constantly adding new ones into it over time. Uh, worthwhile looking into especially if you don't want to deep dive into a box just to find out that you can get it through the card trader. So if we go across one more time, you can see another exclamation mark. Cool, some colors, keys. Our interaction zone is this trash can. No gems this time. But if we click the dual studio, you can see that we have a deck editor available here, our card catalog available, our skill lists, um, popularity rankings of certain cards within the game, the dual column, the KC report, which is a competitive report about ranked matches and ranked players, our unlocked summoning animation list, and deck mat and deck sleeve customization screen. I'll go over in these in a little bit more detail as we get back to it. I just want to give you an introduction to the area. This TV here, very important. Watch it once per day. Get yourself five free gems. As you can see, we'll open it up on screen. This is a great way of learning how players use certain cards or watch a match unfold without partaking in it. You can pause it at any time to get an understanding of what move that they did. Side to him. And that must be you. The Pharaoh. If you are a true duelist, I expect nothing less than your best strategies. As you can see, certain NPCs have unique dialogue. So as you can see, I clicked pause. We can have a look at Necro Valley and what it does, etc. Or if you just want your five free gems, just push this stop button. You can see who won. You can see their whole entire deck and what skill they used. So we can click on the fabled unicorn here, click how to obtain and it'll tell us what box that card is in, etc. We can click on the loser's deck list as well. We can see what they were using and you can also copy the whole entire deck to your player. Even if you don't have the cards, you can save these decks and know what cards you want to obtain to build that deck if you really liked what they were using. So we'll go back here, we've got our five gems. We'll go across one more time. As you can see, there is a fountain in the back. We'll click that, that's our interaction zone. Boom, another free gem. These will add up over time. The interaction zones, I hear a lot of different information out there about it. It only happens once per day uh, or once every set amount of time. I just interact with them periodically, um, every couple of hours or so, and it sometimes gets me gems, sometimes it doesn't. As you start off, you will have certain events. These events are just for new players. So we can see a Shizu, she's from the first anime adaptation of the card game. 
and she's talking about the god cards so as you can see we can take her on once you complete this event you can obtain one of each Egyptian god card pretty cool event nice way of getting some neat cards to start you off with uh, but as you can see we've also got a little bit more to explain this area so the dual trials this floating <laughs> whatever you want to call this click it and you can see we have loner deck duels this will change periodically every day so you can get a loner deck every day and it will have a custom obtainable this can be gems, this can be keys, etc. And if we go to dual quiz, you'll see there's so many different dual quizzes set up. So certain situations on how to play certain cards. You can net yourself some gems, in some cases certain cards. This is a great way of building up your currency to begin with. I highly recommend any new player come here, use the loaner deck, go through the dual quizzes, build up your currency and that way you'll be able to dive straight into the late game sooner rather than later. I left this when I first started this game to very late and I've still got a few dual quizzes to go myself. Uh, something worth mentioning as you build up gems, the maximum amount of gems you can carry on your character is 9999. Any other gems that you obtain in the game will be just sitting in this section here. So just to show you again, little treasure chest up the top right. As you can see, we've got our tickets that were obtained at the start of the game. There's Arc 5 Release Campaign, which gives us the Stargazer Magician and the Time Gazer Magician cards. You can see there's a thousand gems here for the Arc 5 world, a skill ticket to exchange for any skill dual maps but we'll go receive all we'll save all again and now you can see we've got ourselves 5200 plus gems um, as a part of the arc 5 world a new summoning mechanic became available pendulum summoning you can see a tutorial on how to do so there I highly recommend once again to go over this and teach yourself the mechanics you will see there is a notification letter at the top right here this will just take you back to the notification screen I showed you earlier you have a profile section here which will give you statistics on your dueling there's some really cool different stats here for you um, there's friends, items, achievements you've unlocked. There are quite a lot of achievements to do. And playing this game on Steam will net you Steam cards as well. So if we go to the next part of this tutorial for you guys, I'll be taking you through missions, characters, etc. So. Let's move into that. 